Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I want to talk about my new upgrade, new brakes. It's Waller Sport brakes and I think this upgrade is like must have. First of all, because stock brakes is really garbage. Not even like compared to these brakes, but forever <laughs> it's garbage. But this one is like it's most powerful brakes on the market, I would say. So I was waiting for good weather to do like testing. I don't want to ex install brakes and tell right away, oh, that's the best one or something like this. So that's why I put some mileage on uh, on, on these brakes, and it's it was not a lot, less than hundred kilometers. But again, my mileage it's like short drives back to work, like work and back, back and forth, and uh, with a lot of like speeding braking like slow braking fast braking and like so i would say since that like about probably 60 70 kilometers i did on a bike and with these brakes and i and now i can talk about these brakes and how it's working and yeah i kind of have something to tell so let's start from probably uh installation process why because installation process here like very easy and pretty straightforward uh, the seller will send you uh, depending on your language the seller will send you a pdf file where the everything all installation process in pictures and with good explanation uh, so it's like proper guide i wish the talaria have like something like this for their like oil change ch uh, chain tension and all this stuff so i mean it's proper proper guide how it have to be uh, and yeah here I, you can see on the screen some pictures of this guide and so that's why i'm not gonna stop on installation video i just want to show you something what i did here what kind of different from that installation process so first of all uh, because my uh, fork is old version uh, I would say old version or first version of Talaria uh, factory fork it comes from MX3 uh, my MX3 2022 I bought the bike and I really love this fork so that's what fork I'm talking about you see these two knobs and one knob uh, on the bottom so it's not air fork and i really love it so that's why when i get my mx4 i change my uh, fork from my mx3 to my mx4 and mx3 was sold so anyway here are the things uh, when i install this front caliber for first time uh, the edge of that 250 millimeters rotor was rubbing uh, here uh, inside you can see I hope you can see their spring spring oops spring holds the brake brake pads yeah it's probably better to see here you see that spring inside uh, so it was rubbing that spring and what i should do with this situation i just add some washers here one washer on the top and one washer on the bottom and since that this problem is gone so uh, i contact seller and manufacturing and they said it's they never heard about this problem probably because my old style fork fork and here just like millimeter difference on the uh, mounting points anyway uh, just to let you know right away uh, you cannot use other size of the rotors like smaller one i mean why because if you're gonna use smaller rotor than 250 millimeters your spokes will touch the uh, caliper uh, in my case i have even you can see this covers for spokes and it's still not touching anything so it's pretty good fitment and i'm pretty happy about this after that we have braided line what is not mentioned in uh, uh, actually like both lines is braided 
but what not mentioned in the uh, installation guide it's uh, which which one is bottom which one is top so the bottom is shorter piece like shorter shiny piece and the top is the longest shiny piece why like this because here when you press on a fork this going up so this part should be like more flexible and the more it's like open loop the more it's uh, here like without damage this line is flexing because this black piece it just cover on top of that clear hose and uh, just to hold it's like steel so it's just hard part to hold your brake nice position so rear brakes absolutely nothing to say kind of about line because line is going exactly on the same as uh, your original stock line here i just wrap it around with some loop just for some safety uh, it's also braided line just not clear like the top one it's just uh, black color so here is some I cannot say issue but some nuances uh, about uh, rotor size because this rotor is 220 so if you're gonna use original rotor 220 you can install just bracket and caliber without any spacers but if you use that rotor uh, which one is uh, comes you can buy like a kit uh, distance between rivet and edge of the uh, rotor itself smaller than on the front one and in that case if without spacers the caliper touching this rivets so that's why in the kit you have two spacers it's about like three three and a half millimeters each one maybe even four millimeters and that makes your caliber sitting a little bit higher and in that case you're not touching uh, rivets but the downside of this as you can see on the wear mark uh, your actually i'm gonna remove that uh, i'm gonna do separate video and attach to this video how the brake uh, how uh, brake pads looks like after my uh, usage and what is downside of that uh, brakes uh, why why i don't like this uh, rotors and why these rotors should be update upgraded uh, like seller was promising so let's go to the levers levers here is motorcycle style uh, i would put probably piece of the video from uh, my installation before i before i install it and bleed it uh, So as you can see, as you can see here, I have on a, on a space where the bungee bolts should go. Here I have a sensor actually. And this sensor, why I need the sensor? Because I do not remove the brake sensors and I want to my uh, motor cut off from the power when I apply brakes. And also I have uh i did by myself i have that nice uh, brake light and turn signals and i need this to work so that's why i added to two sensors instead of banjo bolts and the seller sending that sensors and adapters what going exactly to the original place where you attach the um, your original brake sensors bleeding process pretty straightforward but the bleeding process here is exactly like vehicle or real motorcycle so what does it mean like example for front one you open that cover add dot four after that we open that bleed screw and from here you have to have some pump or something like what you're gonna suck that bleeding that uh, fluid suck from there so and when it's gonna suck and this fluid gonna go inside the tank 
and fill up that line. After that, you can do that, this process same as vehicle. Close the bottom bolt, uh, bleeding screw, pump few times here, hold, open bleeding screw, and this like pressing and so it's same as vehicle uh, i don't wanna it's like tons of the tons of the videos how to bleed brakes and here is like exactly nothing special so here that's maximum simple installation and maximum simple bleeding so let's talk about i don't know uh, i i all i already did video about uh, braking distance but i just want to say I'm not even saying about like huge difference between uh, stopping distance. I want to talk about uh, feeling when you actually braking and when you like stopping. So with original brakes, with stock brakes, with uh, expensive brake pads, this Shimano H03C. Uh, even there, when I'm braking, like when I'm going speed like 70 kilometers per hour and I'm pre apply brakes and the uh, bike just feels like a fucking, oh, sorry, feels like a cotton, you know, it's like, it's, it's kind of slow down, but I cannot like lock wheels, especially here, like good wheels with, uh, it's Shinka 244 with good traction and it, they like biting the asphalt like so hard and uh, they always on in contact with asphalt and you never know how long you're gonna be like your braking travel and brakes like become hot and faded and so unpredictable just like original brakes unpredictable here guys if i apply brake First of all, the modulation is so nice, so high. I mean, if I just apply brakes a little bit, I know I will slow down slowly. If I apply brake hard, I know like I, it's not like lock my wheels and I'm gonna fly away. No, it's everything predictable. So the more you apply, the more it's actually brakes. And I just like you, you, you can feel this stopping power, and you know exactly like after few times you use these brakes you know already exactly where you're gonna stop how you're gonna stop it's not like you never know what is gonna happen next moment and the only downside here the only downside what kind of scared me still scared me it's uh rotors itself because it's bicycles rotors and i think they not not really strong enough for this uh, bike so that's why uh, I contacted seller again and he said next rotor is going to be wider and I hope it's going to be also thicker. So here I'm going to attach now the piece of the video uh, where I compare that brakes, I mean brake pads to original brake uh, from uh, dirt bike. And I will talk a little bit more about brakes and downside of these brakes. So here's this caliber, caliper itself. And I just want to show you the opening on the caliper. The opening is 4.9 millimeters for sure. 4.9 millimeters. Right? And distance here between pads 12.9. Pads itself. 4 millimeters 4.1 so it means it means here can be installed car, uh, rotor up to 4 millimeters so 3 three and a half millimeters easily so I that's why I don't really know why they choose uh, 2.3 millimeter bicycle rotor but as you can see by measurements 3.5 millimeters easily so now we're gonna talk about brake pads as you can see that's the brake pads what come with stock and they are copy of the brake pads of real dirt bike look that's real dirt bike that's the 
only thing they are wider so other <laughs> other word if you have like milling machine or so you can like just get d good dirt bike brake pads and shave it on the milling machine till proper size so in other things about as you can see it's it's on a on the sunlight you can see it's not all surface on a brake pad is working again that's downside from the bicycle uh, rotors but i was asking seller about this and seller said they will fix it they will have soon wide rotors and i don't know if it's gonna be just wide uh, or it's gonna be also thicker and so all surface is gonna work because now if we're gonna attach this to the uh, brake rotor that's as you can see how much bigger brake uh, pad than rotor and actually it's working like till here you can see i, I marked here with uh, sharpie and uh, you can see where the working surface so it's just like working like that and of course it's not that good how it should be same situation with front one front one little bit better because it's sits as you can see on that wear mark it sits like almost like this so here is better but it's still not good enough and still not how it's supposed to be so that's being said the downsize side for me the bad things about all these brakes it's only rotors because it's when you ride you feel that much that's huge huge power on this brake so they like really nice brakes but i'm just sometimes afraid because look on this i mean if you're gonna look from here you see the play i hope it's gonna be it's visible this on the sunlight you see how rotor is playing so that's that's what actually scares me that's playing the rotor because this one is steel this one is aluminum and i i don't know i i just afraid one day it's gonna like be ripped you know like because sometimes I'm, I'm i'm riding fast i'm riding on the main roads and when i hit the brakes and it's like fast stop i'm just sometimes afraid i would prefer to have this like wider and thicker and so more more like much stronger rotors other than rotors but again don't get me wrong i'm not regret about that brakes at all because rotors it's only the parts what the seller is not uh manufacturing so these rotors the seller also buying somewhere and just like put to the kit but for future he said when i bought this he said in 40 days my, my, it's probably gonna be in in two weeks or so they would have like proper rotors i don't know exactly what rotors it's gonna be but i hope it's gonna be proper rotors for these brakes it's gonna be wider and thicker other than that guys this brakes is just amazing it's like i said it's the best mod ever i'm done other than that guys i just i just don't know what to say more because it's 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 just i don't know it's it's my probably the best the best my decision about this bike what i did before like what i did ever because like example <clears throat> Uh, my uh, skid plate my skid plate yeah it's nice skid plate but guys i'm not really jumper like as you can see on my fenders i'm mostly like riding uh, on the trails and without jumping like some dirt yeah some grass some wet stuff 
but uh, I'm not really like that jumper, so I don't really need it. Same as like example controller. I was thinking about controller, but with, without good brakes, upgraded power, it's I just like I don't wanna. I, I'm not like guy like who is like dead wish, you know like. So in that case, I'm prefer to be the guy who is more safe than fast. <laughs> so just like this, and. Uh, that's why I just recommended those, these brakes and I think it's the best decision what you can make and best upgrade what you can make on this bike. It's investment on these brakes. Only things, like I said, it's brake rotors. The brake rotors should be different because this one is, they just, they, it's good rotors, but they just not good enough for this weight of the bike and for this, for the power of these brakes. That's probably everything what I was thinking to say. If you have any questions, please tell me and I will try to answer everything what I can. Thank you so much. Have a good day, guys.